guys welcome back to my channel and uh, we're back with another makeup tutorial and let's get into it uh, I'm gonna start with uh, some color correcting I think I haven't done this for a very long time and I'm using my favorite color corrector from cover effects um, it's really intense orange but at the same time it blends in amazingly on your skin and uh, yeah I think it's one of the correctors that actually work I'm just giving that funny expression there I'm gonna just put in a few drops of my favorite for Sally Rose Gold Elixir oil just to um, give that hydration to the skin and to make that orange corrector blend in smoothly on your skin um, without any have without having any harsh lines On with our foundation, I'm going to actually use my Max Factor Face Affinity All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. Um, it's basically a primer, concealer um, and foundation in one and I think I'm using the shade Beige 55. Um, I love all Max Factor foundation, they really you know, sink into the skin beautifully um, and they set once they're set in, they don't go anywhere. So do try one of the Max Factor foundation guys, they honestly are very good quality foundations. Uh, moving on to our concealers, I'm going to use another drugstore product and this is the Maybelline Master Concealer in the shade 20 Light, one of my favorite concealers from the drugstore. Um, and then we're going to go straight into cream contouring and I've been using this product a ton lately and it's basically the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade spawn um, I love this shade to contour uh, my face it's it's really cool tone but it kind of does work um, on my face so do give it a try Moving on to my brows, you guys know the routine. I cannot stop using my Benefit uh, Goofy Brow Pencil. Uh, if you do want like an in-depth brow tutorial here on YouTube, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to do one. I kind of just skipped through this um, process here because I think everybody fills in their brows individually um, and I think a lot of people actually do a fab job in it. Uh, moving on to our face, um, I've been loving using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette to set my face. It really gives that radiance and that inner glow kind of a look on your face and it's not even cakey, um, you know, or too much for the summer. Moving on to some contouring, I'm actually using my NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium, which I haven't used in a hot minute here. Um, and I'm using a fan brush to contour my face. Now, if you guys haven't tried using a fan brush to contour, guys, you are missing out. It's one of the best brushes to actually contour and get amazing sculpted cheekbones uh, if that's what you guys are into. Moving on to our blush, I'm using another NYX product here and it's also one of my favorite uh, blushes from their line. It's called Strictly Chic which is an ombre blush. Um, next we're just going to go ahead and bake our under eyes and our t-zone um, and also just cl uh, clean out our cheekbones um, which I like to do I think every time I put makeup on. I didn't however wait for the powder to actually bake on my face for a very long time because I want to give a very natural finish to my face. Next we're just going to go ahead and highlight our cheeks using my Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Kit in the shade um, pink and as always I love mixing two shades from my palette. Uh, one is Azores and the other is Santorini. on to our eyes um, I'm gonna begin with my Bobbi Brown shadows I use these shadows quite a lot on my regular routine but I think I've hardly used it here on YouTube starting out with this shade called toast um, guys this is one of the most beautiful transition colors that you can actually own in or have in your kit um, and um, yeah these Bobbi Brown shadows they are a dream to blend in honestly you don't have to do much and I'm just applying it with this fluffy Inglot brush very similar to your E40 from Sigma and I'm gonna pick up another shade from Bobbi Brown which is called Camel um, this is a little bit more warmer uh, a little bit more darker than your um, than the shade toast but once again very pretty on the eyes and I I highly recommend uh, you guys to buy this if you guys are on the lookout of some new brown warm shades and I'm using the same Inglot brush um, just to push it into our crease and also just blend it out um, and I'm going to use this pencil uh, brush from 
I think this is one is from Makeup Geek and I'm picking up the shade Camel once again and I'm just gonna blend it on our lower lash line. Guys, this is a very easy look to achieve. Um, as you must have noticed, I'm actually doing a lot of easy looks. Lately, I just want this channel to be very versatile that you guys have been enjoying and appreciating and if you want me to do more of let me know in the comment section below i've just gone ahead and highlighted my inner corner with the shade santorini from the huda beauty palette and i'm gonna pick up my urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade mars which is a very pretty emerald color and i'm just gonna use that to put our eyeliner and i'm gonna use the same pencil to put it on our lower lash line as well and once again guys, I mean you don't have to be perfect in applying eyeliner because we're going to smudge this pencil in a minute so don't worry if you can't get a straight perfect line. Um, so you know this is a very good look for someone who's just starting out on makeup and who's not very comfortable applying eyeliner which I know a lot of people struggle with. Um, so yeah definitely give this a try. As you can see I've already started blending out my eyeliner and I'm actually using my eyebrow brush to do that. I couldn't find my angled um, eyeliner brush so use feel free to use any brush that you're comfortable with as long as you can just blend out the, uh, the outer corners of your eyeliner and make sure you do the same on your lower lash line as well. Moving on, I'm going to share with you a makeup hack that I use all the time. Now, make sure you guys are not underage when you're trying this. Or if you are underage, make sure you do it under the supervision of your parents or someone older. Now, if your cold eyeliner goes dry on you, which I know happens to most of us, um, just put it under a lighter or, you know, a, a stove for like one second, literally one second. I think I kind of overdid it over here just for the sake of the video. But keep it only for one second and let it cool for about 15 seconds or so. And you will see that your cold eyeliner will convert into an intense smudge eyeliner. This is a great hack for you to revamp your eyeliners and not throw them in the dustbin. I mean, who wants to spend so much money in, you know, buying cold eyeliners all the time? And do let me know if you guys like this hack and, you know, if you try it at home. Um, now, we're going to just use that cold eyeliner now apply a very thin eyeliner on our you know on our lids and as well as our lower lash line and as well as our waterline we're going to go ahead and blend it the same way that we had blended our emerald eyeliner from urban decay going to pick up a matte black shadow now you can use any shadows that you like i'm going to use the makeup forever one this is my favorite by far and i'm going to use it on a flat definer brush this is one is from sigma um, and i'm just going to use it to set my eyeliner on my upper line and also on my lower lash line and also on my waterline you can see by doing so it really intensifies your eyeliner and this is also a great technique for someone who has watery eyes um, this way your eyeliner doesn't smudge and it doesn't fade throughout the day Next, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D uh, Metal and Matte Palette. Now, this is a limited edition palette, so um, you can use any shadows that you may already have in your kit. I know Makeup Geek does amazing shadows for a very good price, so definitely try them out. And I'm using uh, the green shadow from her palette, uh, which is called Moss. It's a beautiful moss green uh, matte shadow. And I'm just going to use the same brush once again and just put it on the outer corners of um, our eyes just to smudge out and fade out the black shadow going into a beautiful moss green, as you can see over here. And I'm using um, a Morphe M506 brush just to blend out the outer corners, um, you know, wherever I felt that they were harsh lines. So just go back and forth, um, you know, using this technique to smudge out your eyeliner. And trust me guys, it may look a little complicated over here now, but when you try this at home, it's a very easy look to achieve and you can actually swap, um, you know, these colors into any other colors that, you know, you, you may want your eyeliner to fade into. And uh, as you can see over here, I've just picked up some Laura Mercier translucent powder on a blending brush and I'm just going to apply it on the lower lash line over there, wherever I felt that there was any fallout just to clean out any edges. I'm going to go back to our same matte black shadow and pick it on our flat definer brush and just intensify the uh the uh, the eyeliner and our lower lash line as you can see over here we're almost done with our look and this is a very um versatile look i think it would suit most eye shapes and you know most eye colors um and i'm just gonna go ahead and show you another beauty hack now this video is full of beauty hacks guys as you guys have probably noticed 
I've decided not to wear any eyelashes uh, for today's makeup tutorial so instead I'm going to intensify my natural lashes now what you can do is you can actually pick up a disposable mascara wand and dip it into your translucent powder and put that as your mascara on your um, on your natural lashes and then go on with the first layer of your favorite mascara um, and repeat the process two or three times um, and you'll notice every time you do it your your natural lashes will become more fuller more thicker and more uh, longer I hope I think this technique definitely thickens and makes your eyelashes look more fuller as compared to making it look longer but I definitely did notice that it really um, it does work and once again it's a very good technique to you know just use your own mascara to get that full sleeve effect without having to put any eyelashes As you can see over here after my third layer of my mascara you can definitely see a very big difference um, you know as compared to the other side of my face where I haven't put any mascara it really makes your eyelashes look fuller and thicker I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone with a matte uh, vanilla shadow you, you can use any shadows that you may already have um, and I'm just gonna line my lips with my Huda Beauty lip contour pencil in the shade bombshell before putting in our lipstick for today which is gonna be my favorite new lipstick stack that I have received recently the Kylie and Kim uh, collection honestly guys this is by far my favorite nude lipsticks I've ever used and this is actually my first purchase from Kylie Cosmetics and this is the only one that actually caught my eye if you want a full review of uh, this lip kit do let me know in the comment section below um, and uh, yeah guys I think we've reached the end of this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new as usual let me know your feedback and do not forget to hit on the subscribe button and I love you guys bye bye